from Ozon. I develop applications at signal effects. I'm going to be talking about getting the most value out of our measurements. So the type of measurements that we may care about here are things like how many requests are we seeing, what's the load time of our app, how often are we missing the cache, et cetera. So once we've instrumented our system, we'll end up with a dashboard that looks something like this. So here we can see that our CPU and disk utilization is stable, but our HTTP responses and our active database connections have some interesting patterns. Since we have multiple servers, we'll want to plot all of our data. With this much data, we should be able to identify features like the distribution of values and outliers, but unfortunately, while this looks interesting, it's not very useful because it's too much data to understand. By using some analytics, we can reduce the data set and highlight the aspects which uh, we think are important. So here, we're highlighting hosts which have increased their CPU utilization the most in the last hour, uh, hosts which are utilizing the most disk space, our HTTP responses by availability zone, and how our, active, how our current active database connections compares to the one-day average. Analysis like this can be useful uh, to make large data sets understandable, but it can be very powerful in monitoring as well. So here's a simple question. When will our hosts run out of disk space? Since this is a question about the future, we'll need to forecast. Uh, one simple method of doing this is to take how much uh, of the resource we have, divide it by how much we used in the last hour, and that's an estimate of how many hours we have remaining. Uh, this is a very simple method of forecasting, and there are much better ways of uh, doing this, like with uh, exponential smoothing, but they're more complex and don't fit as nicely in slides. So with basic measurements like disk utilization and some analytics, uh, we can see glimpses of the future and plan accordingly. So here I can see that we have uh, three hosts which are expected to run out of disk space in uh, the next week. So this data will vary with time, and we have more important things to do than stare at dashboards all day. So ideally, we can offload the monitoring task to a system which can run the analysis continuously and let us know when something interesting happens. So for example, we may want to be alerted whenever a host in our infrastructure has less than five, di five days of disk space remaining. This way, we'll have some time to address the disk uh, issues before they become a problem. This is just one example of using analytics. We can also use analytics to identify uh, unexpected growth in load times, anomalous traffic spikes, or poor load balancing. So by leveraging measurements with real-time analytics, we can increase our overall situational awareness of our system. Uh, so if something interesting is going on, we'll know about it. This saves us time we would otherwise be spending being surprised by unexpected events. So one way that we can spend this time is by exploring our data set for interesting features and learning about our infrastructure. I'll show you an interactive uh, visualization we released last week uh, with this in mind. So at the top, we have our, a heat map which is showing uh, our hosts, colored by memory utilization. The lines at the bottom is a denser view of the same infrastructure where each line is a host intersecting five metric axes. The scatter plots show the current uh, metric being used to color by compared against other metrics. These visualizations are interactive, so if you see an interesting cluster, you can select it and learn more about it. So here we've selected uh, hosts which have low CPU utilization and high memory utilization, and the selection is mirrored across the other visualizations, so we can also see that uh, these hosts also have low disk usage. The section to the right analyzes the infrastructure for properties which are overrepresented in the selected range. So another way of putting this is these are properties which are most likely to describe the hosts within the selection. So in this case, it's showing us that a service called Quantizer is highly correlated with low CPU usage and high memory utilization. Clicking on the Quantizer service groups the heat map by service so that we can uh, explore other services and see how they compare against this one. Since this, since this tool is data agnostic, we can explore our infrastructure along any property of our host, such as instance type, uh, kernel version, or environment. Beyond helping you form a better understanding of your infrastructure, this tool can also be used to identify properties which indicate problematic behavior. For example, if some of your load balancers have very low network utilization, the correlation function would highlight properties which, have, uh, which they have in common that uh, normal load balancers don't. That's all I have. Thanks.